More than 30 years ago, Bill Bonstetter was a college professor and budding entrepreneur. Keenly interested in human behavior, he picked up and read William Moulton Marston's The Emotions of Normal People. In it, Marston laid out a theory of human behavior commonly referred to as DISC. While largely neglected in its time, decades later, The Emotions of Normal People is the basis of an assessment industry that impacts people's lives around the globe. For Bonstetter, Marston's research on human behavior helped him to create a successful business and to foster a now healthy human assessment industry. Well, Pete, I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to let us visit about your father, William Moulton Marston. Uh, you know, his works is the foundation of a business I have built for over 30 years using his concept. You know, the book that was written in 1928, Emotions of Normal People, is being used throughout the world as a foundation for people to really understand themselves and others. I just want to make for sure before the day's over that you really truly understand the impact that your father has had on society by helping people understand themselves, uh, build relationships with other people by understanding it's okay to be different, it's okay to be unique, and uh, you know, not, not very many people talk about normal people. And we're very proud that uh, we can talk about that. So we're going to explore a little bit more about this, but uh, I really want to start out, but tell us a little bit about your father. Well, all of my childhood, he was doing projects all over the country. They kept saying, come out here, Bill, we want to, want to have you talk to us. And he did consulting work for various people, including uh, Metro Golden Mayor and people like that, and uh, the prison systems in Texas. So uh, to me, he was a, a wandering pro. Whatever, he, whatever they wanted him to do, he did, because he was smart enough to do it. In the uh, lie detector, he makes a statement that we would be better off using the lie detector to change people's personality rather than incarcerate them. And he went on to explain that if they know they can't lie to you, that uh, you can work with them. So uh, your father, how did he treat you along those lines? Did he apply the DISC principles uh, to you and the family? I tell you what, um, we had four kids. I was the oldest. and I. When I look back, I have to say I was an experiment because they, let me, they tried me, let me do all kinds of stuff, never really steered me. Just do what you can do and see how you make out. And uh, I, I, it's incredible the amount of things I got into. How did uh, Wonder Woman uh, comic book come about? Oh, that was interesting. Uh, he was hired as a consultant. Uh, of course, he was an attorney and a psychologist by DC Comics in New York City. And Charlie Gaines was the, the head man at the time. And um, one day when he was down there, he, what, what he was doing is taking comics or helping to out of the wartime scene because the war was just ending and um, into the peacetime venue. So uh, Charlie Gaines said to him today, hey, hey, Bill, why don't you write a comic? Ha, ha, ha. So he went home and talked to my mother. And my mother said, well, Bill, if you want to write a comic, that's OK. But we got enough male heroes. Let's have a female heroine. So Wonder Woman was born. Awesome. And your mother played a major role then. She did. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, so he went back to Charlie. And Charlie got a chuckle out of it. But they got Wonder Woman out. OK. And it worked. Also, Pete, uh, I've written articles on serial entrepreneurs, and we use the DISC as a part of the measurement of that. And I, I think it's interesting. We, I asked the question of serial entrepreneurs, when did you first start thinking of owning your own business? 42% of them said before age 12. <laughs> now, this would probably identify your father. He was an entrepreneur. He was a futurist. He was thinking and doing things that nobody else was even thinking about. But uh, this is a great tool in helping us understand entrepreneurs and how they start thinking inside of the box and outside of the box. Your dad was like many entrepreneurs. 
we don't always hit success. Hmm. And uh, the lie detector had its challenges from the court. And the biggest challenge of emotional, the book, uh, Emotions of Normal People, was Freud and all these other people uh, were touting their ideas. Yeah. And he came along and he cut, went right to the core. And I think he was over their head. I don't think they really understood it like he understood it. Yeah. And uh, without computers and uh, things to, uh, to prove his concept, it was nothing but his ideas that he wrote about. Absolutely. But he also, he went 180 degrees from where the rest of psychology was. In those days, it was all about people who were institutionalized. And your father was the first who put that word normal people and brought psychology to normal people. And we just felt it important to be able to pass on some of this because uh, we, we're committed. This is a real business. Oh, boy, I you know? know, yeah. And uh, it'll go on for years to come. And the more that we can understand about the foundation behind this, the more that we can leave behind for the future people to understand and apply the concepts. And I don't think normal people are going to go out of vogue at any time soon. Mm -hmm. well, Pete, we really appreciate you taking this time and really have enjoyed this setting. Thanks so much for coming out. <laughs>